Ah, good morning. Right. So this morning uh, I should be getting on to something a little bit different. Um, the last time I was working on this, uh, we got to the point where when you try and add a goal um, you can enter your stuff um, uh, but when you hit save nothing happens and that's because we haven't hooked it up uh, the uh, Submit handler basically does nothing at the moment. Um, I've just got some commented out old code here um, from another um, component. Um, and the reason why there's no code there is because we haven't actually generated um, the back end service um, that can handle an add goal. Um, so it's time to dive into my go based uh, back end which i haven't touched in months um and i haven't i haven't even worked on the i haven't worked it with go hardly anything anyway so uh, this is going to be fun <laughs> so we'll see what's going on um so quick reminder of what's what um the model got a little go module here which gives me um, some structs with my my data, basically akin to um, the database tables that I also have. Um, and what we're going to be generating is uh, a new goal um, and a new measurement with it that has a value and a date taken and um, everything else is just going to be defaulted for the time being. I could probably add a notes field here as well, um, but we can come back and do that later. Um, along, what I'm using is a service called uh, a service, a uh, library stroke tool module, a Go module um, called Otto, um, and it generates a basically an HTTP server service, um, which just basically takes a JSON payload and returns a JSON payload. Um, and it's just named endpoints. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to generate one of these goal monitor service um, endpoints. As you can see, we've already got some for login, reset password, check, reset password token, um, a change password, which actually does the reset. Um, and then obviously the get goals that you've seen already um, and you've not seen get measurements yet because we haven't got any measurements in my little demo account that you've seen so far so what we need to do um, is create one of these um, and then fill out the request and the response struct uh, the data that we expect to come uh, to go in each direction um, and we need to do that for uh, add goal I guess so we've got get goals there um, let's um, let's copy them that and we'll do oops Add goal. Okay, it's a new goal. Remember. Goal and request, which we haven't generated yet, and add goal response. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay. That should do that. So we're going to do something fairly similar to the get goal. So let's copy that and stick that in. Do something a little bit better here. Now uh, we have just changed it down to there. So where we have um, substitute get goals for that goal. Okay. I use um I use I'm using um Goland, the IntelliJ based IDE from JetBrains. Um but I'm using a uh, little plugin called um, Vim IDE. Because my fingers use uh Vim <laughs> commands. Uh a long time Vi user. So, right, add goal request is the request object for goal monitor, add goal. Uh, type add goal request. Right, member ID is the ID of the member. To create a goal and the memo ID token string of the token string that must be sent along with memo ID on every new request. So, yeah, so we definitely need that. Um, and we'll just before we start adding in data there, well, we could do that. Uh, we're going to have. Um, This is interesting. Actually, we're going to have a goal, but we're not going to have a complete goal. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Because we don't have, we won't have things like. Um, I'm not going to have the ID and we're not going to have the created and updated fields. So it'll be interesting because I'm, I'm on, as I said, I haven't uh, used this for a long, long time. So I don't know what's going to happen when I try and um, pass in that information without a full data set. I might have to dummy it up. So we're going to have basically a goal. Or should I split it out? Can I even do that? Might have to just, uh, hmm. Maybe I need to specify individual fields. I don't know. I haven't passed any uh, compound records before, so any structs. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do that.
Well, I definitely don't want the UID anyway. Okay, what we'll do is we will take all that and plonk it in there. Verb, value, prefix, suffix, end date, and reason. And then we also want, at the moment, let's take that as well. We want the first measurements, value, date taken, and notes. I don't know if I should pass that. We'll just do a dummy one of them. So this is going to have to be a different name for that. measurement value so we're going to have a measurement value which is the required first value for the measurement date taken okay yeah so the verb value prefix suffix end date reason blah 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 okay that's fine now on the response It would be handy to pass back the new goal and measurement. Because then I can just slot it into my um, my Svelte store for the goals. Okay. So I wonder whether why am I not commenting that? Newly created goal. If successful. Have 
<clears throat> Measurement is It'll be interesting to see whether that works. So far, I've only done structs uh, as a as an array going back. So I've no idea what's going to be generated with that. Okay. I'm kind of stepping in the dark here. I haven't used this in so long. And, uh, I'm going to see what's what, basically. Let's see if that causes any issues. I might, I wonder if I can, let's do it as is, but I might try, I might see if I can just put goal and measurement instead there, because that'd be really handy for the quest. If I can just pass in a new goal and a new measurement um, and then just pluck out everything that I need. It's a bit... It might not... Yeah, it might, it might need to be more stuff there. Though. Okay, right, well, let's just see if uh, that causes any issues. Um, I'll just go into the server and just do a quick make. It's doing the generate, that's good. So there's, um, yeah, okay. Cannot use type as type generated in argument. Just my set. Go on my set. Does my invent generated? Oh, okay, cool. All right. That's fine. It's just telling me there that I haven't implemented the new service um which is true i haven't but it did generate um the new javascript and server okay module so that's good right so what's what it does is um auto which uh, did you see auto in there did it do its thing No, you don't really see it. Uh, so in the main here, we've got, got this little line here that says go generate and we call a, a little script here. <clears throat> and it first does a quick check to make sure I've got templates. And so it's going to download from paste.dev the guys that make Koto uh, templates for the <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the Go um, and uh, JavaScript. Output effectively templates for them. Um, and then it just gonna, it's going to just run the, the module using those templates um, and spit out uh, a new server and a new client um based on the the model um and services that i've just defined then uh, the uh and then we just basically because i'm using make i'm just trying to make the app but it's complaining that um we've got no no, no usage basically 
of their new uh, services. So we need to do that in my little API. This is little, it's growing pretty quickly actually. So this is where I implement those, the, uh, the add goal. Let's get goals. Okay. I'm going to use that, I think, as a, as a starter because it does a quick little invalid. Just a little token check there to make sure that everything's okay. So the way um, I've set things up, I have a, uh, a little token system. I do a little uh, bit of hashing and stuff. Um, and every time you do any request, you basically just have to pass um, your member ID um, and your current token art that you gained after doing a login, a standard stuff. Um, so it was always a, just a quick little tech uh, test at the beginning. So our goal creates a new goal for a member. So we're going to pass in a add goal request and we're going to return a record an add goal response type. As you can see, we instantly get stuff here. If I expand that, you can see what's really happening. So I do a quick little check of the member ID and the token string. Um, and you should see that in the uh, request member ID token string, they're always passed in. So now we now need if it passes right, so yeah so if there's any kind of error we just return that error if the token is not okay we set an authentication error instead um, this is so if things go bang basically um, Otto has a little bit of um, wrapper in his JavaScript, uh, whereby it will generate um, an error message effectively, an error response. Um, but in this case, if there's no error, um, and I'm, I want to catch, uh, capture that, you know, the authentic authentication is wrong. Um, and so I'll just send a message saying invalid authentication token. Um, I think I could potentially use just use the error messages as is. Uh, I just throw like an error, um, and I might might switch to that because uh, it might be easier to handle it that way. Uh, but this is the way I've done it so far. I'm trying to remember everything I did like months and months ago. This is why I'm doing these little half an hour every day. Uh, things just to get back into doing things on a regular basis. 
Get back up to speed, get familiar with my own code. Just keep on learning. Right, so now we've got to do the actual stuff. So we're going to have to validate everything, aren't we? That's going to be interesting. I don't think I've done any of that yet because we've only done simple login and so on. We could be uh, Yeah, we're going to need to do all kinds of things here, actually. We're going to need to create it and then re and then uh, grab it back. So I'm going to have to split out. I guess I could take and start it off as uh, just like a big long function and then split it up into little ones as we go. Okay, uh, let's finish off the boilerplate here though. So we need to change that. It's going to reply with an add goal and it's going to be a goal. Goal. And we'll probably get a measurement. Zzz, actually. Good point. The goal contains in my store a list of measurements. So the response should actually be Yeah. It just so happens going to be a list of measurements that just so happens to be populated with one. I don't want to do. Yeah, no, I was wondering whether I could just return the response from get goals to refresh the entire goals list. That's a bit heavy handed. Okay. Yeah, 
it's not going to like that for the moment because I haven't regenerated the uh, the service definitions. Okay, right then. do anything do I want to make sure um I was wondering whether I should pass do a quick test to see whether I can pass in uh, a whole goal and measurement and pick out what I need. No, 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 let's keep it tight. Let's keep it like these are the fields that you can add. Yeah, okay, right. Let's I think what we'll do so we'll just test that this compiles up with a dummy out everything for the moment. I'm going to take all that out for the moment because we've got a lot more to do before we get to um, grabbing any data. And I think I'm going to refactor out from the get goal and get measurements to actually do that after the fact. So we're going to respond with a goal. And some measurements. Which in this case are both empty. Let's Let's uh, give that a quick quick make. Make sure I'm going to problems. There we go. There we go. So if I look at the generated, see the actual server there. Now it has a uh, Add goal request. The goal struct has been updated for some reason. Why is that? Oh, I must have just been reordered. Oh, okay. Puts everything in alphabetical order. That's nice. Um, so we've got a handle add goal. And it's going to call add goal, potentially send an hour. Otherwise, it encodes the response and sends that on its way, which is nice if it works. Uh, and so we've got some type definitions for the add goal request there. Things kind of being rewarded a bit by looks things. Yeah, it's 
and delete it out and stuff there. Yeah, measurement. So a bit of a reorder. Okay. And the JavaScript side should have similar stuff. It's now got an add goal. So we'll be able to pass in that add goal request. It's going to post it based on the response. If it's got an error, it's going to throw it. Otherwise, it returns to JSON. And that's what I was talking about before, where if you get a proper error, you can catch the error. Otherwise, you can just handle, handle it via the body. Okay. Everything's a very standard format, which is nice. Okay, let's do some stuff. Oh, what's the time? Run out of time already. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got the skeleton in there. Uh, we now need to just fill in the blanks. Um, and that's going to mean setting up, validating the inputs. Add in the goal, which is just an SQL query, in theory. Um, add in a measurement for that goal that we just created. Um, and then if all is well, get in the newly created goal and its measurements and responding with them. But I am out of time for today, so uh i will have to say goodbye for now and uh until next time take care